Hi Scorpio, welcome to your week ahead Tarascope with me Raphael from Radiant Reality. It's an absolute pleasure to have you, thank you so much for being here, thank you so much for joining me. Quick note, my readings are for your Sun, Moon and Ascendant signs, so whether you're a Sun, Moon or Rising sign Scorpio, this is for you. And I always advise that you watch all three to get a clearer, more complete picture of how they're going to speak to you. With that said, remember they are general readings, not everything's going to resonate with everybody and that is just fine, you should always use your own discernment. Before we start, as always, I would like to bless my decks of cards with all forms of love, light, peace, prosperity and abundance and I pray that the messages that come through are ultimately clear and concise and they help you on your path to your highest vibrational good. So for your key to the week this week you've got the hanged man right slow steady and easy is going to win this race for you this week. Now with this um, I will say it wouldn't be a surprise to me if you had some kind of um, spiritual insight this week, remember the hanged man for all of its other, you know, sort of meanings and whatnot. Um, this is a card of waiting, patience, stillness, and stasis, right? It's a really a card of standing still, but it's a very spiritual card as well. Like there's a, a lot of true spiritual energy in this card. And I kind of feel like this week, you're likely to have an experience of that nature that is either gonna enhance life or it's at least gonna give you a breadcrumb of where you're supposed to be going next. Like what's supposed to be uh, shaping up or taking you know taking place for you from here on in so this could actually be very um very beneficial for you it does suggest you know because it is the hanged man we've got to call a spade a spade um this may be a week where you become um I almost, yeah, I want to say maybe this is a week where you become aware of where you're doing too much for someone, right? Where maybe you are not, um, yeah, like where and maybe I don't want to go as far as to say it's being taken advantage of, but where something is is just not quite hitting the mark, right? It's like you're doing too much for someone and maybe it's being taken for granted. Just something that you need to look at. So for your... Uh, if you are a continued subby, you know Rafi loves you. If you're new to my channel, please don't forget to like, share, and if you should so choose and it resonates, hit the subscribe button. For your actions and options this week, you've got the Queen of Swords, right? So it does, I mean, the first thing that I want to say to you is, um, you can go in for the battle this week, and you know we all know that you are a mighty opponent. You could go in for the battle this week, but if I'm completely honest with you, that Queen of Swords looks like it's going to tire you out. Um, choose your battles wisely this week is what I would like to say to you. The other thing is as well, get out of your head. Like whatever it is that's going on in all up in here, it get out of there. <laughs> right? This coupled with the Hanged Man you're and I say this out of all love and respect because I got a lot of Scorpios even my dad is a Scorpio so I've got a lot of Scorpio people in my life you know friends clients etc um who mean a lot to me but I gotta say this your mind this week Scorpio is not a good neighborhood right you 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 need to be out of there find a physical outlet whatever is going to take you out of your mind and bring you more into the physical world even if that is through some essence of spirituality, get out of your mind. Maybe if you can't get, you know, if you can't do something physical, maybe delve into your spirituality. There's something this week where it's almost like the thoughts are very chaotic. And I kind of feel like that might be the thing that leads you on to having like a, you know, don't do it. For your communications and conversations, you've got the five of wands. Now, if there is, um, a, and I have to say this, whether this is that you're employed, whether you're self-employed, whether you're in your own business, whatever it is, there is a spirit of competition that is happening at the moment that isn't the good kind. This doesn't feel like camaraderie to me. This feels like direct competition. And if I'm honest with you, because you've got the five of wands in the, in the communications, and it's underneath the, the hanged man card, um, you may find that somebody that you are maybe have done a lot for, um, you know, it might be, you know, one of those things like where somebody kind of, um, you know, you try to help somebody and they snap at you, or do you know what I mean? Like it's all that kind of stuff. Watch your communications this week because you are already very sort of terse and on edge. And I kind of get the feeling that this may, it may be something that ends up sort of bubbling over more than it has to. For those of you that are employed, um, this week, 
I'm not saying don't be a team player because this is very much a team playing actually co co combination. Um, but it's also one of, of, of competition. And it's like, I kind of feel this week there might be a moment of frustration where you're like, we're on the same side. Like, why are you, do you know what I mean? So keep that in mind. And if you can see it coming, don't rise to it. When it comes to those of you that are business owners or people that work for themselves, um, one way that this might show up for you is you are expected to do more sort of in the way of pro bono, maybe some more sort of charitable work. Um, if you can do it, if you have it to do it, if you have it to give, then absolutely. But outside of that, don't allow yourself to be forced or swayed. For those of you that are retired and no longer working, uh, honestly, the family looks like it could get loud this week, all right? So just be aware and prepared for your uh, love and relations. You've got the Seven of Swords. There's not an easy card, right? Especially with the Five of Wands. So for some of you, not all of you, but for a select few, this almost suggests that you... It almost suggests to me that you will catch a partner in a lie this week. Um, or maybe, just maybe, you are the one that told the fib and you're gonna get caught out with it. If I'm honest, it doesn't feel like it's anything detrimental. Um, it doesn't feel like it's, you know, somebody's cheating or anything like that. Um, it could be, you know, I thought you said you didn't hang around with those people anymore and now you're going out for drinks with them. Um, do you know what I mean? Like it could be something like that. And, you know, before it turns into any of that, <laughs> right, just, just find a way to hash it out. And I will say this, because you got this five of wands here, this, there was the ting. Um, this is not a week to involve friends in partnerships, right? This, whether it's friends, whether it's family, like this, you know, we all whinge to somebody. When we're in a relationship, we all have friends or whatever that we whinge to about our significant other. This is not a week for that. It will likely blow up um, in your face, I'm sorry to say. And because you've got that seven of swords here, it may be that it's misconstrued or the way that it comes back is completely screwed up. Chinese whispers and all of that especially because we've got Mercury going direct on the 3rd of February, right? And so when a planet is stationary, when it stops and then it changes direction, those are disruptive points, right? As we get into the cycle of a transit like a Mercury retrograde, we're kind of, we're like, okay, fine, we're having to go back over this or whatever, da, 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 da. But at the point where it changes direction, that tends to be where it can get a little bit messy. So watch out for that this week. If you are single, um, this, <laughs> this kind of, I don't know why in my head I've got musical chairs. I kind of get this feeling that maybe somebody who you had, you know, maybe somebody said like, you know, oh, you know, th this person doesn't like you very much. And, you know, you've had kind of like, mm, you've both been like that because of it. Well, this week you could realize that actually maybe you have more in common or maybe, just maybe, there is something there that you weren't aware of before. Um, so it wouldn't be surprised me if maybe somebody comes back um, and it will be interesting to see how that plays out. For your money and materials, you have the Eight of Pentacles. So it is gonna be through work, through extra work. This might be the challenge or the competition that comes in. Maybe there is a project at work. Maybe there's a chance to earn extra money. Maybe there's overtime going. Um, you know, it's the end of January at this point. So everybody's a little bit like, oh, money. Uh, um, this might be a time where you are, um, it might be the thing that you win out on, right? So you get given the overtime, you get given the bonus, you get given the project that's gonna yield great dividends or whatever, and maybe that's where the competition is coming from, but watch out for it, because, and I don't feel like this is you purposely stepping on anybody's toes, I just kind of feel like it is what it is. For your um, new moon message. So the new moon for you is happening in your, so the new moon in Aquarius, whenever I talk astrology, I always talk whole sign tropical, right? I always use those systems. It's the easiest one for me. It's the one that I understand and resonate most with. So you should always listen to your ascendant for this kind of part of it, uh, to a lesser degree, the sun and the moon, right? Um, 
your uh, this eclipse is going to be taking place in your fourth house this is all to do with your home your family your property your you know real estate if you've got it your family and your roots are found here as well and in ancient astrology the fourth house was an occult house this was a space in you know and you are an occult sign right so the fourth house being an occult sign or a, a, an occult space it suggests that a lot will happen in that sphere this week around that new moon that may really now start to see you looking in a very different direction. I gotta say that this one does feel like it's gonna be initiating a lot for, for everybody in some way, shape or form. Your new moon message is the gate 59 and intimacy. The thing that I love most about this card is, for me personally, it speaks to the intimacy of getting into bed with life, right? Where you tap into not only the need to be intimate with a partner or a relationship or any of that stuff, right? But that intimacy that you have with yourself and with life. This is about getting back into that energy. And I kind of feel like this might be a space where that new moon is asking you to get your fourth house matters, your home, your property, real estate, your familial ties, all of that stuff. Get it in order so that you can now start to get back into bed with life. Because if your sanctuary, if your home is not settled, everything else is up in the air all right with that said i wish you an abundance of all of that good stuff have a fantastic week let me know in the comments how it shapes up take care and i'll see you soon